It was film director Derek Jarman who once said that an artist's life is one of self-revelation and destruction. He destroys his own identity and is consumed by some ungovernable force. He may wish to lead a normal life, but is incapable unless he destroys that which is his own existence. This is one such artist. Almost a week ago, his wife of 20 years passed away. He just received word from the autopsy that it was from an overdose of snorting heroin. He was unaware of the fact that she ever did drugs, nor the fact that for almost the entire 20 years of marriage, she'd been having affairs with Marcus Moon, art critic, Austell Weldings, poet, Paul Schooner, political talk show host, and Mike Stupin, currently unemployed. But despite that, he knew that she was the only love of his life. That's why he decided to paint one final painting, and then end his life. But what? What would be the last thing he'd ever want to say to the world? He then began to think back. Back to his first artistic inspiration. He remembers being seven and his father taking him to the park. He recalls looking up and seeing the most beautiful bird he'd ever witnessed. He recalls being so taken by the very sight of it that he immediately ran home and drew everything he remembered. Nothing could ever compare to the illuminating sight that was the bird. But apparently there is no record of that bird ever existing. Honey, can, you, can you come here for a sec? What's this? Who, who's going to buy this? Okay, this is a no. When you go back in your studio and you're mixing your paint and you're doing your creative process or whatever, the key thing to think about is who's going to buy this and for how much? Is that what he should paint about? Money? How it cripples the very existence of man? How unfortunate! One of the greatest artists of our time creates a piece, the likes of mine, the conscious psychology of a prepubescent teen after the first time listening to Dark Side of the Moon! Then how about the terrible condition that the world is in? Oh please, these days everyone who has a voice has to bitch about how fucked up the world is. I know it, you know it, everyone knows it. Then maybe an expression of all the pain and heartbreak he's endured. Don't, don't get me started! Nobody cares about your pain. It's, it's got to be clever, witty, or shit. Well then, how about the fact that everything he's ever worked for has just become an excuse for people to walk all over him? Hey, didn't I nail your wife? Time for the descent into madness. Come on! What is it? What are you trying to say? You got nothing. You ain't got shit. Fuck it, bro.
Hi. Even though his painting wasn't well received by the public, he didn't care. All he cared about was the bird, and the bird cared about him. He'd give up his sanity for the sake of being happy.